All right, so hopefully you had a chance to go through and watch that video of Charlie Wilson's War, and hopefully you took a few notes beforehand like I asked you to do. Who knows, maybe this will be an assignment or something. But uh, did you notice the cuts, the techniques, the things that they did? What exactly is it Mr. Henley is asking you to look for? What well, did you notice the cuts from one part of the office to the next where the film stopped and another film started? I mean, it's you know one frame after another for us, but it's not the same shot. Sometimes the shots pan and the actors do not move. Sometimes the panning shots follow an actor that's moving. Uh, there's a wide shot or an establishing shot as Wilson and the CIA man enter into the second office. There's a lot of alternating medium shots that go on in this. There's a lot of cross-cutting when the women are talking to Wilson at the very beginning of the clip. Um, it's not very good at establishing space, but since we already know the space, we know it's very limited, it actually works pretty well to you know get that group of women in one shot and then Wilson in the other. And plus you're seeing how one group goes against the other works pretty well for that space, but there's just a lot going on in that small space. Let's go look at another Tom Hanks movie, uh, Forrest Gump from 1994. Let's talk about how to cross cut time and space. So early on in the movie with Forrest Gump, it is established, if you've never seen Forrest Gump, you should go watch it. Again, it's got a few scenes that are a little bit beyond PG-13. I think it's PG-13 rated, but I don't think it's R, but it's it's got some questionable scenes in it or topics, subject matters, but, uh, for, but it's a classic and it's a great history film for any of y'all that really enjoy American history or just, you know, history of the 20th century in general. Anyway, Forrest Gump in 1994, uh, he is pretty much disabled as a little kid. He has to wear braces in order to walk. He can't even run. He's not expected to run. And there's this classic scene, Run Forrest Run, where these bullies come up to him on bicycles and start throwing rocks at him and calling him names and chasing him and Jenny yells out run Forrest run and so Forrest starts to run the best he can with those braces on him and then the editor actually cross cuts a lot between the bullies and Forrest trying to run the bullies the Forrest trying to run and the bullies actually do you know they start to get really close and all that and if you look at this it doesn't make a whole lot of um, sense in how far they go and then it, and it's not so it's not the most realistic but it is entertaining and you can tell it you know it's kind of like a kid you know a kid's imagination with this story because you can really see how it hypes up his story that he can run like the wind blows as he says by the end of the clip he, he's off in a cloud of dust and well literally so anyway classic clip from Forrest Gump again we're looking at this from the perspective of time and space so the bullies closing ground on Forrest how long does it take him to get to run and how long does it take them to catch up to him and just how that goes back and forth not saying this is a great example but it is something to be aware of in this particular clip so go watch uh, this clip from Forrest Gump <laughs> 